But that day said, I want to go to the HOH department. I want to make it to the executive lounge. I want to, it's not because of the token. What I heard is that it's a private setting first and you have chicken. I love chicken. I want to have chicken. I like different grapes and snacks and drinks. Cross Legit has one of the, in fact, he has the most hilarious diary room sessions because what is that? Like, it was a long diary session. His diary sessions are always long. It was long today and it was so funny. I posted a longer version of this on my Instagram page and I was trying so hard not to laugh because I was recording it. So I posted the longer version of it on my Instagram page. You can watch it. Uh, my Instagram page is at Anita Hesse. I'm going to put it in the comment section and I'm also going to put it in the description box. So guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please do well to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you can get notified each time I post a brand new video. And don't forget to give this video a big big thumbs up it is free guys so for today's video we're going to go accordingly as usual i'm going to begin with the task that they had they had the bar um about <laughs> pipepower.ng surge task they were given a a script so basically they had to act out the script they were divided into different groups and then they came on stage and they did their acting so the team that did very well in fact my best team was the team that actually won so that that team had Saga, J Paul, Angel, and Sasuke. And if I do this, you know, if I do this, straight away, like it. It's bad to be said that. Sorry, Something, I don't want to. So thank you so much. Something they do. You see, you see, you come on, go and bring five. I'll I'll come out here. Just so the prize that was given to them is five hundred thousand naira each and three months supply of utility. So. That's a good one. Angel and Sasuke, whenever they are in the same team together, they, they tend to always win. Or they, like for the most part, whenever they are in the same team together, they get to win. And it's a nice thing. Sasuke has been winning a whole lot in this game. Then let's talk about the game that they played in the evening. They played different games from Truth of Death to Lemon Lemon to... Like they just played different games. Lemon 8, Lemon 7. Lemon 9, Lemon 8. Lemon 8, Lemon 9. Lemon 9, Lemon 3. <laughs> what did you talk? Is it Tate? <laughs> and before I even go into further details with the game, I want to put out an open letter to Kayo Day. And this letter is from myself and so many other people that are watching the show to Kayo Day. We are not happy, Kayo Day and every other crew member behind the camera. We are not happy with what you have been doing to us. Because why is it that you do not show us certain things that are very, very clear? At this point, it feels like it's very intentional because they will be playing a game. And they will leave that scenario. They will not be going to show us munch it or where two people are just sitting down. Like, why? The punishment for you is that as you are going out today, as you're stepping out of your house, you are going to match goat sheets. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys the part that they showed us from the games. So I'm going to read it out for you guys because like, you know, it was a lot. So what I'll be reading out for you guys is the dares, the truth and the dares. Not exactly the game, obviously. So uh, white money was dead to make love like a tortoise. <laughs> and it was legit very, very slow. Dead tortoise. That's fast. Yeah, Then um, when Nini failed, he was she was dead to make love like a bird and she chose Saga to do the dare with. <laughs> So apparently they said for birds you have to join they usually join their tail and stuff so that's why she went to saga to do like a tail kind of movement then perry was dead to <laughs> he was dead to act like a dog that's he's going to be the female dog and then somebody is going to like act like they're making love to him it was very funny jackie b was the one that acted out that part Then Yusef was there to kiss somebody on, like French kiss somebody on their kneecap. Why would they do that? That's, that's mean. <laughs> then he chose Angel to do that with. Ten, nine, eight. She said French kiss, then she said <laughs> Then Queen was there to give somebody a hickey and she chose Saga to do that with. Although at the end of the day, we did not see any hickey. His neck was still very plain and... <laughs> Nothing, there was no injury or anything, but she chose Saga to do that sweet and then Nini was just there smiling up and down. I said, It's alright. Then for White Money, they asked him a question whether he likes Queen and he said yes, that he likes Queen. They now went further to ask him whether he likes her romantically and he said he is not there yet. He has not reached there yet. Mm -hmm. 
romantically. Yeah. I'm not there yet. Okay. <laughs> then they asked Saga if he can be evicted. Like, for example, if Nini was to be evicted and he had the chance to save her and be the one to be evicted, whether he would do that. And he said no. Praise the Lord. <laughs> He just said no that he can't do that that if it's nomination that he can actually do for nomination that he can put himself up for nomination in place of her but not for like not to just say okay to leave the house instead of herself so can you get evicted that she stays can you do it no no then they asked Perry what was the secret that Maria told him when they removed their microphone and initially he didn't want to say anything yeah, but they just said that so like over 80 million people already know the gist already so there's no point hiding it no she said I want you to f*** me tonight mm. so did you sit down no, of course not. Nini said that Maria told them the gist when they were in the executive lounge. So she's going to confirm whether he's lying or saying the truth. So when he finished saying what he said that uh, Maria asked him to um, you know, knock her, then Nini said, then I asked Nini whether it's a lie or it's true. And she said, it's a lie. Is it true or false? False. Is that he was joking or maybe Maria didn't tell, Maria didn't tell them the right thing or maybe Perry just wanted to say something. Then Perry asked Liko if she was attracted to Michael when he was in the house. And I'm like, where's that even coming from? I don't think I saw anything that signified any kind of likeness from Liko's angle. So she said no, that she was not attracted to Michael. When Michael was here, were you secretly attracted to Michael? No. Then White Money was there to kiss Queen. Guys, this is the part that got me angry. White Money was there to kiss Queen. And at the point where we are supposed to see something, that guy named Kayo J took the camera to where J Paul and Sasuke were just sitting down. Now, at this point, fat, let me just skip that part because I'm angry already. Then White Money was asked who are the four people that he could knock if, like, for example, he had the chance and everything. Who are the four people that he could knock, basically? Number one, Number two, Queen. Number three, uh, Jackie. Number four, Jackie. Then Queen was asked who she would knock, marry, and, like, ditch. Like, the person that she would say, oh yeah, you, get out, and stuff. So, she chose, um, Cross for knocking, and she chose white money for Mary. <laughs> the way she chose is the way she chose Boma for me. Who chose for? She got f. Hey, ah, she wanted the kiss. She got Mary. Mary. Why? Oh. 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 I'm f up, Perry. <laughs> yes, I'm Perry. Middle fingers up. Because right. Boma is not here. <laughs> Then I think that's all. I think that's all for the games, the truth or dare games and all of that that he played. Then let's now talk about the issue between J Paul, Cross and Sasuke. So apparently when it took us to the conversation, it was I think it was in the middle of the conversation. I just heard where J Paul was saying that why would he be sitting down there? Why would he just be sitting down there and staring at and us and be waiting for what to happen? And I'm like, ah. What's going on? What's happening? Is he sitting over there looking and watching and waiting for whatever is going to happen? No, oh, can you try and just ignore that? I'm sorry, I know it's hard, I know. It's not my fault to tell you this nonsense. Because I think it's intentional. Wow, go on. Where is all this coming from? So they kept on talking and the next part of the conversation is the part that is causing problems on Twitter. Right now as I'm speaking to you, there's just like this back and forth about what exactly he said. So j Paul was like, the part that is even getting to him is him saying, I mean, the part that is even getting to him is the talk of, I don't like you sleeping on his bed. And then Sasuke was like, ah, that she was shocked when she heard it. So now what's causing problem is, was it shocked, she said, or forced? It just kills me just to... Yeah. Yeah. Like Who's that like? Or whatever. No, I swear I was shocked. Let's right, not talk about that. Let's not talk about that. Oh, no, can I keep going? For me, I think what he was referring to is Cross saying that he doesn't like Sasuke and J Paul on the same bed. And all of a sudden, I'm seeing J Paul again back in your bed, and I'm like, I thought you moved out of 
down in the coast of here trying to avoid something like that. So that was the conversation I know that he had. So now I don't exactly know what Sasuke told him that is making him say this thing, but I know he was sad talking about the whole sleeping on the, on the same bed issue, and she was not like, ah, you should not, you should not allow it bother him and all. And Jepo is now saying that um, is he expected to be the one to now be mature and then avoid the problems and all. Hey, what exactly is going on? Because obviously they didn't have issues before, like Cross and J Paul. So I don't know where this is coming from. Hopefully there there will be a conversation about it. Because J Paul was saying that he was going to confront 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 um, Cross about it. She was saying he should not. But then I me, mean, I'm hoping that he does confront him, like not in a in an aggressive aggressive way. Obviously, like just man to man, just what's up what's going on so that we'll know what's up that's why i want it i just want to know the gist so now it didn't even end there he now went for that to say that cross things he can't face him i'm like hey this is this is like getting really really serious the one that ever bust my head was when he was saying that how is this supposed to leave sasuke to stay now like knowing how is this supposed to leave out in fact let me even read it out the way i even wrote it because this one eh, if I'll show you guys, just watch it by yourself. Yeah, he probably thinks I can face him. Well, maybe oh, I give him too okay, much respect. Yeah, but let's just go for the line. How do you expect me not to believe you? Thinking that you're yeah. going to be okay and safe. Well. I'm like, what do you mean by expect to leave her thinking she'll be okay and sleep well? Like, is anybody going to attack her in this house or what? That's when that's what made me to start wondering what exactly is this thing that they're talking about? Because for him to talk about safety, leaving her safety. Hey. At some point during their conversation, Angel asked Sasuke for her baby oil. So while they were still having the conversation, Angel was using the baby oil to massage um cross. And Sasuke now realized that it was cross that Angel was using the baby oil for. She now faced her like, ah, is that what you're using it for? That she thought Angel was the one that wanted to use it. She now told her that she stopped using it to massage him. Ah, cross shock. <laughs> Angel, is that what you're using my baby oil for? Yes, so. The one I used my money to buy. I told you I wanted to use it for a body. Please cover my baby oil like it. Ah, so cross. Please, please. It's back, I'm begging you. Um, don't call my name. I'm confused. If Angel wanted to use baby oil for herself, like what's the difference between Angel using the baby oil on herself and using it on him? It's still the same like amounts that you're going to use, except maybe maybe for massage you use more. But then the difference is not so much, and it's a big bottle of baby oil. So uh, I sensed anger in her tone. Cross even insisted, like he was telling her that she has three more weeks, so obviously it's going to be enough for her. Now to Angel, she should continue, and then Sasuke was like, she should not, she should can continue what she's doing, but she should not use her baby oil. No, you have three more with it will last you. Don't use my baby, that's all I have to say. It's okay, let's move on to the next gist. So earlier today, I mean earlier yesterday, Queen was with um White Money and they were just having their normal play. Queen was, you know, dancing for him and stuff and they were just there being all cute and stuff. Then later on this night, I think you guys know the question that they asked White Money about who you like to knock, uh, who he could knock, and the people what what he called. I don't know if that's what's causing the problem. But then Queen was actually moody in the room and White Money went to like talk to her. He was now talking about why he's scared to like even the reason why he's scared to go for that with her, like maybe date her and stuff and stuff is that she's too sensitive to everything and that's not a lie at all. Like Queen is extremely sensitive. I understand it very well, and that is the reason why. I'm scared of <laughs> you are sensitive to everything. So she's extremely sensitive and kind of like the jealous type. And White Money always says that he doesn't think like like somebody that's very very jealous it would be difficult for them to be together because of the kind of work that he does and stuff. So he was just telling her the reasons why he feels like maybe they cannot work if at all. It's not if she asked him for that, but the conversation just led to that, and I just said okay. Let me bring the gist for you guys. I can't even play rough play with any woman. You have to play rough play. No, I'm just telling you. I'm telling you, if we to be in a relationship, I can't do that. I'll be scared that my mom will have to and bomb me. Or you will come and pick away. Yeah, I'm watching them, Sha. I'm watching them. I'm watching everybody. I got my eyes. I'm shining my eyes on all of them. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to give this video a big, big thumbs up. And I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye. Love you.